This broadcast is brought to you by Blue Bob's Automotive Design. Custom cars built every day. Just call 123-475-7873-0472-098-163-0099-6060-4567-123-456-7890 and submit your design. We'll have it ready for you in just two and a half weeks, faster than all the competitors. And now, the broken vase. One night in 2005, Sheldon Ferguson, the owner of a very successful company, both fired a useless employee and was killed in the exact same night. Let us now look into his office. You're fired, Bill! You're a completely useless employee! I can't just have people sitting around while everyone else is working! Now, leave him get out of my sight! But I've got a wife and kids. Couldn't I stay and you pay me less? No! Now go! Or I'll get you back, Sheldon Ferguson. Sheldon Ferguson had just gotten home from work, going through the back door. It had been a long, hard day. However, let us back up a few minutes to when Bill is breaking in. Now's my chance. I'll hurt him by breaking all his stuff. Ah, an expensive vase. This will do fine. I'll drop it down, down to his porch to break it. What was that? A robber? A piece of vase? I'll get him down. What's going on in here? Who's there? Fuck! Oh, I've got to get rid of the evidence. Sheldon's daughter, Brittany, woke up the next morning to find her father dead on her front walk. She quickly called the local police force. Hello? Hello, policeman. My name is Brittany Ferguson. My father, Sheldon Ferguson, is dead on my front walk. Could you possibly have someone come over to conduct an investigation? Certainly. A detective will be over soon. Goodbye. Excuse me, Captain Jedediah Crunch. Sheldon Ferguson has been killed. Would you mind going over there to check it out? Of course I wouldn't mind, Sergeant. Thanks for alerting me. I'll head over immediately. Captain Jedediah Crunch had just arrived at the Ferguson's house. Brittany was asked to come out and tell them what she knew. Apparently not all that much. Where were you last night? Well, I seem to recall that my friends came by last night around 5 o'clock asking if I'd like to go to the mall. Can you think of anyone who might want to kill him for any reason? Well, let me think. Oh, I recall yesterday at breakfast my father said he was going to fire one of his useless employees. I think his name was Bill Ochocinco. Well, that seems like a valid reason to kill him. Maybe. Sergeant. Yes, sir? Go get Bill Ochocinco and bring him here. Yes, sir. Bill was app apprehended and brought to the Sheldon's house for questioning. Where were you last night when Sheldon Ferguson was killed? What do you know about the case? Let's see. I remember I was walking by when a shadowy character jumped from behind a tree and killed my former boss. There seems to be a discrepancy here. Nobody's guilty. Huh, what's this? A murder weapon? A shard of glass? I'm going to take this back to the station to scan it. Captain Jedediah Crunch had returned to the police lab to scan the shard of glass. The clue he needed completely thrown off guard. Fingerprints? But who is it? Wow. Sergeant, go get the car ready. We're headed for the Ferguson house. Captain Jedediah Crunch had returned to the police lab to scan the shard of glass. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the police car drove up to the house. Brittany ran out of the house to find out what they had found. The cops slapped the handcuffs over Brittany's wrists. What the? You're under arrest for the murder of your father, Sheldon Ferguson. But it was a mistake. I mean... We found your fingerprints on the shard of glass. But what about Bell? We picked him up for vandalism. You're both under arrest. In the end, Brittany Ferguson was the murderer by mistake, and she was under arrest for it. Bill Ochocinco was also under arrest for breaking, entering, and vandalism. The, the end. end.